The year is 2025. We thought we had mapped our human family tree, tracing ancestors out of Africa, across continents and through ancient land bridges. We believed we understood the main branches, Neanderthals, Denisovans and us. But science always has surprises. Just as we think the story is complete, a new chapter emerges, this time, from within the DNA of the Filipino people. Your DNA is a history book, telling the epic tale of every ancestor and every journey. For decades, the genetic story of the Philippines remained largely unread. In 2025, a groundbreaking study opened that book, sending shockwaves through the scientific community. The findings were astonishing, challenging timelines and adding a new mysterious character to our ancient human drama. The Philippine Islands were revealed as a crucible of evolution, not just a stopover in human migration. Anthropology and genetics were electrified, textbooks and documentaries needed rewriting. The Philippines moved from the footnotes to the very heart of our story. This was a paradigm shift, like discovering a new color in the rainbow. The cosmos and our DNA are filled with wonders yet to be uncovered. The story of us is not finished, it's constantly being rewritten and the Filipino people hold one of its most surprising secrets. We are only just beginning to read it. For years, human genetics focused on a few key populations, leaving much of Southeast Asia, especially the Philippines, in the shadows. The genetic heritage of Filipinos was often oversimplified, masking a deep and unique history. Enter the Archipelago Genome Project, an ambitious mission to map Filipino DNA like never before. Scientists traveled from Luzon's mountains to Mindanao's shores, collecting thousands of samples, including from remote indigenous groups. They searched for unread stories in Filipino DNA and found something spectacular. The project required trust, advanced technology, and careful analysis of terabytes of data. Scientists weren't just looking for similarities but for unique ancient signals. What they found wasn't just a variation, it was a whole new symphony. Filipinos weren't simply a mix of known groups, their DNA held a richness that set them apart. Old models were incomplete. The story of Asian migration was missing a major piece shaped like the Philippine archipelago. By overlooking this region we missed a crucial part of our origin story. The Philippines emerged as a genetic crossroads not a mere footnote. The world realized the Filipino genome is a key to understanding humanity's past. The puzzle was bigger and more fascinating than anyone had guessed. Deep in Filipino DNA the first major surprise emerged, the echo of an ancient encounter. We knew about Denisovans mysterious cousins to Neanderthals, known from a few Siberian bones. But the Archipelago Genome Project found that certain indigenous Filipinos have the highest Denisovan ancestry in the world. The Philippines wasn't just a place of contact, it was a central hub for human Denisovan interactions. Prehistoric Philippines was a vibrant, diverse place, home to different kinds of humans. But the real shock came when scientists filtered out known DNA and found a distinct unknown strand, a ghost hominin. This was not Denisovan or Neanderthal, but a new branch of humanity. The ghost strand is a revelation. Our family tree is more tangled than we thought. Who were these unknown people? We have no fossils, but their legacy lives on in Filipinos. A lost branch of humanity survives not in stone, but in blood. The Philippines was a lost world where unique human evolution played out. Its story is only now being told. Archaeologists in the Philippines have long found tantalizing clues, stone tools, butchered rhinoceros bones, and the enigmatic Homo luzonensis. These finds, some over 700,000 years old, hinted at ancient hominins far earlier than expected, but the story was fragmented, until genetics provided the missing context. The 2025 genetic discovery, with high Denisovan DNA and the ghost strand, made sense of the archaeological evidence. Suddenly, ancient bones and tools fit into a bigger picture. Homo luzonensis was no longer an anomaly but part of a pattern of deep human diversity. Genes and stones began to tell a unified story of ancient encounters. The prehistoric Philippines was a place where multiple human species lived, sometimes at the same time. Imagine different human groups foraging, meeting and mixing across the islands. The archipelago was a laboratory of evolution, where branches of our family tree intertwined. Stones and bones were the evidence, DNA became the script, at last, the story could be read. The key to this ancient story lies with the Philippines' indigenous peoples. Groups like the Aita and Mamanwa, living in isolation for millennia, preserved ancient genetic signals. Their DNA holds up to 5% Denisovan ancestry, higher than anywhere else, and carries the ghost strand. These communities are living libraries, 
direct descendants of ancient encounters, science now affirms what their oral traditions long suggested, they are the first people of the islands. Their unique genetics are a testament to resilience and deep connection to the land. Protecting their heritage is vital, for them, and for all humanity. The old story of human migration was simple out of Africa, across Asia, to Australia. The 2025 discovery upends this view. The Philippines was not just a waypoint, but a destination. Multiple hominin groups, Homo luzonensis, Denisovans the ghost population, and early modern humans lived and mixed here. The archipelago was a diverse neighborhood not a highway. Migration was a series of waves with groups arriving, thriving and evolving in isolation. The Philippines is now seen as a major center of human evolution on par with Africa and Eurasia. Our story is not a single line, but a braided river of many streams. The islands played a pivotal, previously unrecognized role in shaping humanity. This breakthrough has resonated deeply in the Philippines, touching the national soul. Folklore of enchanted beings and ancient giants now finds echoes in scientific discovery. The idea that ancestors thrived and mingled with ancient peoples inspires pride and identity. Science and culture are converging. Schools teach this new history, and artists find fresh inspiration. The discovery sparks a national conversation about what it means to be Filipino. Rooted in a saga stretching back tens of thousands of years, science affirms a profound connection to the land and past. The link between myth and molecule enriches wonder and belonging. Our stories may hold deeper truths than we realized. The whispers of the Dewata might be echoes of a time when other humans walked these islands. The 2025 discovery is just the beginning. It opens a new field of research focused on the Philippines and island Southeast Asia. The ghost strand remains a mystery. Its fossils may still be waiting to be found. Scientists are planning deeper genetic studies to understand the ancient genes' impact on modern Filipinos. These genes may influence health and adaptation even today. The Philippines is now a key site for exploring human origins. Protecting archaeological sites and empowering indigenous communities is crucial. The future of discovery depends on partnership and respect. The archipelago, once a periphery, is now an archipelago of origins. The journey into our past continues, leading to the shores of the Philippines.